States. Here in Ohio, it's kind of an historic day. It marks one year since the virus first hit the state. It began with a state of emergency declared on this day one year ago after three people tested positive. Now, the very next day, March 10th, Governor Mike DeWine announced with the OSHAA that sports could continue with limited spectators. Less than a week later, though, the governor ordered all restaurants and bars to close for in-person services. In Lucas County, March 19th marked the first confirmed coronavirus death. That was Mark Wagner Sr. Now, come March 22nd, Governor DeWine issued a mandatory stay-at-home order. This led to a mask mandate, hospitals scaling back on non-elective surgeries, schools going to remote learning, sports canceled in April, and a curfew that would come in November. So we know right now the mask mandate is still in place here in Ohio, but schools, hospitals, bars, restaurants, a lot of them are operating closer to normal as we see these COVID-19 cases drop. Nearly 10% of people who live in Lucas County have been fully vaccinated. Our Zainab Shaib spoke with local health leaders and has more on how they're feeling and what they're hoping really the future will bring. Good morning, Zainab. Good morning, Tiffany. Well, I can tell you one thing that everyone, not just local leaders, are very, very hopeful for the future. As they say, they can see the light at the end of the tunnel. But Ohio Governor Mike DeWine declared a state of emergency and announced we're now at war with an unseen enemy just last year. Now, the beginning of March 2021, nearly 1 million Ohioans tested positive and more than 17,000 have died from the virus. On December 11th, 2020, we began to see the light at the end of the tunnel. The FDA grants an emergency authorization for the first vaccine from Pfizer. Just yesterday, Governor Mike DeWine announced that 900,000 more Ohioans will be able to get the COVID-19 vaccine on Thursday. The Lucas County Health Commissioner says the amount of people getting vaccinated, he predicts that we will return more for a normal kind of lifestyle closer to summertime. That we're going to see enough of people vaccinated so we can return to a more normal life. Uh, as we're hearing from the federal government and from uh, Governor DeWine is that, you know, we're, we're going to be seeing more vaccine over the next several weeks to months. And again, um, I think we heard uh, over the weekend that we could return to normal by the summer or a, 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 a more normal type of environment. Now, the health commissioner also says that we need to still practice the same thing that we've been doing for the whole year and wear masks, uh, socially distance, even if vaccines are ramping up. So I'm going to send it over back to you guys in the station reporting live in East Toledo. Zainab Shaib for WTOL 11.